hello friends welcome back today uh, in this tutorial i am going to show you how to uh, authenticate the socket.io server from the android client here uh, i'll be using the uh, token based uh, authentication which is the uh, most simplest and uh, basic authentication method so uh, first of all uh, let me give you a uh, brief on what the uh, token based authentication is uh, we will be having a token or a secret key at the client side as well as the uh, server side. When the uh, client connects to the server, we will compare both the tokens and uh, if it matches, the authentication will be a uh, success. So uh, that's how the token based uh, authentication is done. As you can see, I have uh, already set up the socket server at my end and the uh, server will be uh, running on port 3000. Uh, please go ahead and uh, set up those at your uh, end also. So uh, now let's get started. First uh, let's write the uh, connection event. Uh, this will get fired whenever a uh, new uh, client connects to the socket. We will uh, receive the instance of the uh, client socket in the uh, callback function. So uh, I am adding a log. So that will be uh, console.log and uh, I'm adding the log as one uh, user uh, connected and uh, the uh, socket.id. So also uh, let me add the uh, disconnect event. So and on disconnect uh, I am adding a log that will be uh, one uh, user disconnect and the uh, same socket dot id. The uh, disconnect event will get fired when the uh, client disconnects from the uh, socket. Uh, now uh, we will add a uh, custom event uh, authenticate uh, through which the server will authenticate the uh, connected client. So uh, from Android we will be uh, sending the token to, uh, to this uh, event. So uh, we will receive it in the uh, callback function. So that will be uh, data.token and I am adding a log. Uh, so that is uh, token uh, received and uh, token received is and it's the uh, token. Now uh, let's look at the Android client side uh, code setup. Uh, first, uh, please make sure uh, you have set up the socket.io uh, client library for uh, Android. Uh, if not, please uh, go ahead and uh, download it from the uh, following location in GitHub. I have uh, already shown uh, how to set up the uh, client library in my uh, chat app tutorial. Um, Still, a uh, couple of things that uh, you should make sure uh, you have done are uh, adding the dependencies to the uh, pom.xml in the uh, root of the library and uh, the uh, project build.grid file. Uh, please make sure uh, you have added uh, both. Also, uh, you will need to add the internet permission in the Android manifest. Uh, so, uh, please make sure you have added that correctly. In my uh, Android code, I have uh, already initiated the uh, socket.io. Uh, as you can see, I have added the IP and the uh, port of the uh, socket server to uh, connect to. Uh, here, uh, you can add your own uh, socket server IP. I am now uh, going to connect to the server, so uh, that is uh, socket.connect. Now, uh, let me start the server. Uh, I am using Nordmon uh, module to do that. Uh, you can either install Nordmon or uh, use the default Nord method to uh, start the server. Our uh, socket server is up and running on uh, port uh, 3000. Uh, let's uh, run the Android app and check whether the uh, connection is working or not. As you can see, the uh, client is connected to the socket now and uh, we have got back the socket ID in the uh, logs. But uh, we haven't uh, authenticated the uh, connection yet. Uh, so uh, for that we will emit the uh, authenticate event and pass the token from the uh, client side. So uh, let's do that now. So uh, I am adding a uh, uh, static uh, string uh, that is uh, that will be uh, the token. So you can add uh, your own uh, string there. So uh, for now, I am adding this uh, Srijesh at uh, Kriyatma. Okay. 
this uh, token is our uh, secret key and should be uh, kept very uh, safe uh, for that reason so we should uh, hash the token before it is sent to the uh, server so uh, here i am uh, doing md5 hash of the uh, token this is the uh, code to uh, md5 hash string in uh, java you can uh, just copy paste the uh, code let's first uh, write the uh, code to send the uh, token to the uh, server so uh, we will be sending it as an uh, json object uh, so that is try catch and uh, instead catch will have a uh, json exception so that will load dot uh, d and uh, json exception and then e dot get message so this will log if any uh, error comes and uh, now let's add a property token so that will be json object dot put uh, token and uh, we will uh, convert the uh, convert our uh, token string to an md5 hash so that will be md5 token uh, so and then we will emit the uh, authenticate event okay so that is emit authenticate and uh, pass the json object okay now uh, let's check the uh, token being sent to the uh, server so uh, let's check it out as you can see the token has been uh, received by the uh, socket server and uh, it's an md5 hash of the uh, client side uh, token string what we uh, received now is the uh, client side token now uh, we need to create the server side token and uh, here also the uh, token should be uh, md5 hashed so uh, for that first uh, we need to install the uh, node md5 module so uh, let's do that now so uh, that will be uh, sudo npm uh, and uh, install md5 and uh, save so, uh, yeah now the uh, module is installed so uh, now let's uh, drive into the server side code uh, first of all uh, we need to include the uh, md5 uh, module so that is uh, require uh, md5 and uh, now let's add the uh, token the server side token so please make sure that uh, uh, the client side and the uh, server side uh, token matches so that is uh, the same that is uh, Sergesh at uh, Kriyatma now uh, let's take the uh, md5 hash out of it so uh, I am uh, defining a variable for that that is hash server token and uh, that will be md5 server underscore token okay now uh, first of all uh, uh, on our uh, connection event we will uh, make the socket.auth into uh, two folds and in our uh, authenticate event uh, what we need to do is we will be now uh, comparing the uh, client side token against the uh, server side token and if it matches uh, that means the uh, authentication is success so we will add a uh, log there that is console.log uh, connection is authenticated at the uh, socket ID before doing that we will make the uh, socket.auth equals uh, true okay now uh, let's check it out as you can see uh, the connection is authenticated now now uh, what if the connection is not from an uh, authenticated source we will need to disconnect the unauthorized uh, clients right so uh, for that i am going to keep a timeout so uh, once a client is connected the socket will wait for like uh, one second and if the connection is not at authenticated it will uh, disconnect the particular socket so uh, that is uh, not uh, socket.auth so we will uh, check whether the uh, socket.auth is uh, true or not if it's not true then uh, that means the uh, socket is not authenticated so we will put a log there that is disconnecting the socket and uh, socket.auth and if it's not authenticated then we will disconnect the socket so that is socket.disconnect to uh, check that uh, we will first remove the uh, token from the uh, client code as you can see the uh, socket detected the uh, client as unauthorized and uh, disconnected it let's uh, put the token back 
now uh, let's add an authenticate event on the uh, client side which will get fired when the uh, socket authenticates the uh, connection this way uh, the client will be aware once the uh, authentication is success and uh, do, can do uh, further uh, actions as required i am now uh, emitting the event once the authentication is success uh, which will be listened by the uh, client so now uh, let's add the uh, listener on the uh, client side code so that will be uh, socket dot on authenticate and uh, let's write the uh, event handler for that so that will be uh, private emitter dot listener on authenticate equals new uh, emitter dot listener so this is how I on uh, socket we write the uh, handler so and the uh, callback would be uh, run on a uh, separate thread so it will be uh, on uh, run UA thread run then uh, there we will add the uh, add in uh, log so that will be a uh, socket over ticket and uh, r0 dot to string so inside the r's we will uh, get the uh, uh, data back so let's check it now as you can see uh, we have got back the result as true so uh, that means uh, the authentication is uh, success now uh, I am going to add a uh, boolean variable that is uh, is authenticated and uh, uh, will uh, assign the uh, result back to that uh, uh, variable and uh, we can write in uh, a condition where uh, if that uh, is authenticated is true then we can uh, do the further uh, actions so that would be uh, is socket is authenticated and to, uh, to the socket is uh, authenticated okay now uh, let's check that yep so we have the result so now our uh, socket connection is uh, authenticated this uh, authenticate event will get fired only if the authentication is success uh, if uh, the authentication fails the uh, server will just uh, disconnect that particular uh, client socket that's it guys uh, this is how uh, we can do uh, socket authentication from android using uh, tokens so uh, hope all of you enjoyed the tutorial uh, if you have any questions, pen me at uh, srijesh at uh, Thank you and uh, bye.